Chant is sung prayer. We can't get away from that. So the text, the prayer, the, the psalm, the scriptures, the words of Christ, chant puts them to music. But it's a special music. It's a music that speaks to the spirit. It's a spiritual music. You feel it in the heart. You know, a lot of people when they hear chant, they just, they almost feel like they're going into a trance because it speaks to another part of them that they hadn't realized. What's very interesting is that um, Gregorian chant notation is the only notation in any civilization that could, could give you the, the notes and even if you'd never heard the chant before, you could read them. It's, it's quite remarkable. It seems very simple to us now to have notation. But it only came in about the year 1000. Before then, basically you just had the text, say text from the Bible. And they would just sing those because they remembered learning this chant probably as children. There were a couple of little primitive neumes that indicated a certain, you know, particular tune was speedy or slow or something. But by about the year 1000, uh, a monk by the name of Guido of Arezzo in Italy, he started to develop techniques to teach chant. And the first thing he did, I'm going to put a few lines um, and we're going to set Do. Um, and the do re mi, the, they're simply the syllables from an older hymn. And, and with each of these syllables, it went up one note. So I thought this particular chant, it was a chant to St. John the Baptist, I'm going to use this as a teaching tool. And what he said was at the time, he said, with this notation, young, usually young boys then, the, the, the members of our scholar, they can learn the chant in something like five years instead of 10 years. Prior to this notation, you had to remember the whole thing. And of course, the ancients, um, they did remember things much better than we do. We, we rely always on writing things down. But they could remember whole poems that went for pages and pages. So this notation, um, it was fairly simple. It was really for the monks who chanted in the monasteries and the abbeys in Europe, basically the Psalms. Um, and, but from then, once that established itself, um, and then from that modern music came. Without a notation system, you could never have complex music like operas and symphonies. There's no way of remembering that. There's a, an author, his surname is Goodall, and he said there are five big bangs of Western music. The first big bang was the Gregorian chant notation. That was the springboard. Yeah.